Creative Technologies in Trinity is all about technologies that are creative in themselves. So for example, computer animation, computer graphics, signal processing, but also research into how these technologies can help in other research areas such as health, neuroscience, English, history. Well, it's a very sort of unique and dynamic combination that crosses boundaries between drama, film, and music, computer science and engineering, and cultural heritage. So it encompasses a huge area of what we think of as the creative arts, but then has this very interesting addition of technology. We have taken on the topic of delivery over headphones. The immediate challenge that's presented with headphones is trying to give you an environment, an audio environment, where the audio is externalized. It would be great if the sound appeared to come from where the person is speaking on the screen, that you didn't have this embodiment between the audio we hear and the visual that we're presented with. And that challenge requires understanding of how we hear sounds, why does the sound appear to come from a particular direction, and can we signal process the audio in a manner that when we hear it, that's what we perceive. Uh, there's a sizable interest in making the audio more immersive if you're providing support services, to, particularly to, to students and children. And we're working with some small large companies in improving their, their products in that area. The Wingwatch project is really aimed at the problem where the aircraft have become very, very large. And airports haven't gotten any bigger. And so the risk of collision has increased. And so we're using our image processing ideas, ideas from uh, stitching together multiple views of, of cameras, which is often used in the movie industry, but we're applying it into a situational awareness or a safety area. We've looked at using cameras to um, place those cameras in and around the aircraft so that we are able to give the pilot essentially a bird's eye view of their own aircraft. Our research in Trinity uh, on crowds was looking at creating very um, computationally efficient crowds. There's lots of different areas in medicine and um, in rehabilitation. For example, social phobias. If, if people have um, like a phobia of talking in public, for example, you show them a, a virtual crowd, you let them engage with that crowd. Um, uh, and that can really help in their uh, rehabilitation. A lot of the research that I did was on uh, understanding what the best ways are to vary these clones, basically, that you'd have in the crowd, um, making them move differently from each other, so, and running perceptual experiments to determine how many walk cycles, for example, you need, how much variation do you need in their walk, how much variation do you need in their appearance, in order to make it look as if the crowd um, is a crowd of individual characters. The research in the SIG Media Group in the uh, engineering school here in Trinity is all about processing videos, processing images to try and improve them, to get rid of those kind of glitches that you see on a YouTube video or in an old movie. And this signal processing, um, digital signal processing process, gave rise to a company called Green Parrot Pictures by my colleague Anel Kukaram. And um, this has now um, been bought by Google and Google is now using it to actually help to improve the quality of videos uploaded to YouTube. In Trinity College Dublin, we are carrying out research into the scientific and mathematical and physiological underpinnings of creative technologies, but we're also experts in the applications of these technologies. We're able to address real problems in society, real challenges in society, the only yardstick that we have is the excellence of the work that is going on, that it is at the cutting edge, that it is world leading, that we are collaborating with the absolute best in the world. What's most unique about Trinity um, is, is how this new initiative um, is bringing together a, a network throughout college. The technology should be serving you rather than the other way around. And for us, uh, that's creative technologies is about you know, putting the technology at the service of the, the people. Thank you.